goodness. That thing is huge. We got visitors this morning. Jamie, our crop specialist is here. Good morning, Jamie. You're back again? <laughs> yes, I am. How bad's the bill today? It wasn't too bad. He's gonna wave it. <laughs> Waving $230,000. That's nice of you, Jamie. Yeah, now. Hi, girl. Whoa, is that new dartboard? Yep. Oh. <laughs> not your thing, huh? <laughs> no, not my thing. Oh, good. I didn't think he was ever gonna leave. <laughs> we always have a lot of fun with Jamie when he comes down. If anybody's new to the channel, that was Jamie, our agronomist. He dropped off our fertilizer bill and our chemical bill. For a thousand acres of corn and a thousand acres of soybeans, our fertilizer bill was $137,000, and then we prepaid on a thousand acres worth of chemicals. And, uh, and that was another 95. Well, I spent all your money. How do you feel? I feel good. No, I feel broke. Hey, now who's here? Wendell? How's it going? Hey, where are your safety glasses? You're looking at them. <laughs> hey, you hear that? Helicopter? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that thing is huge. That's right guys, it's here. Oh my goodness. Hey, Sable's here. Just in time to wash it. I know. Did you back this on here? Yep. You ever accidentally drop one off the side? <laughs> no, not yet. Really? She didn't get too dirty going down the road. Did you get attacked by a bear? Yeah. It's a Wolverine. How fast could you pull it? Oh, 65. Yeah, you haven't seen the new company yet, have mm -hmm. you? What do you think? They're nice. Oh, but I see a scratch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, negative okay. Nancy. For startup. That was it. Well, here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. It finally arrived, the 2014 case 9230. I want to take over that washout and see what it's all about. Hey, who's the car track shooter? Sure I don't know who's driving on our ground. I wish they wouldn't. They're compacting the ground. <laughs> that little car with some small tires is terrible. Oh, holy cow. You figure out how to get the hopper open? No, I'm calling Bill. Question for you. How do you unfold the hopper on this thing? Oh, I didn't even think looking up there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh my. Testing the tracks out. Going across the washout. Did we go across it yet? Yep. It's pretty smooth. It is smooth. It's real smooth. This washout's about what? Two feet deep? Probably. That is so much smooth. Smooth. Crick? No, I don't think the tracks will handle that. You never want to have any fun anymore. There you go, the field are compacting it. Oh yeah, that frozen ground is nice. Uh. See you later, semi-driver. That's a nice rig. That's what we need. For what? So here we have it, guys. This is our new to us 2014 Case 9230. This is a class nine combine, which is the largest combine that Case makes, which is roughly two and a half times bigger than our old combine, which is a 2001 Case 2388. This is a class five and this is a class nine. Hey, you wanna pull the other one out so we can do some side-by-sides? Yeah, we can do that. Well, this is baby bear. There's papa bear. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me right now? We'll do a little walk around comparison then we'll take them out in the field, drive them side by side that way we can get some real life action. Okay, here we go. We got the old one versus the new one. 2001, 2014, class five, Class nine, 250 horsepower, 580 horsepower, 2,500 bushels an hour, 6,000 bushels an hour, 30 inch super singles, 36 inch tracks, little baby back tires, small tanks, 12 inch unloading auger, 14 I think. <laughs> Just to put this into perspective for you guys, look at the auger versus that auger. 280 bushel grain tank, 410 bushel grain tank, two wheel drive, four wheel drive. This is the throat all the way up. And that's how wide it is. This is the throat all the way up. I can't get my foot up there. But just to put it into comparison, the other one stops about right here. The top of the old feeder house is literally 
at the bottom of this one. Little cylinders, big cylinders. Eight row combine, 16 row combine. Legacy series, flagship series. This one came from Reader's, that one came from an auction. But this machine requires diesel exhaust fluid and that one does not. But at the end of the day, they're both good machines. I will say this though, she is a little dirty. Sable! <sighs> Let's go drive them around. Get over left a little bit and then I'll put my auger out and put it out as you're driving. Does it seem totally different than this machine? Yeah, it's going to take some learning to learn all these buttons. Pretty incredible difference, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty fun though. I was just amazed with the tracks, like when you went down in that ditch, once mine spun out, I was running the one with the rubber wheels, and, it, <laughs> and the old tracks didn't even look like it phased it. Like going up it to the 2388, it was so steep looking going up, and the 9230 just like hardly had any angle. Yeah, I noticed that too. Yeah, that was actually kind of a fun thing to do with the machines. Kind of more, you know, because. You got to see some comparisons there. Hmm. And I know a few of you are going to ask. We did trade the 2388 for the 9230, and they would have taken the 2388 when the semi was here. But I guess someone else had an emergency breakdown with their skid loader, and so they went to go pick up that instead. So I guess they're going to get this later. Now the real question is, is it going to fit in the shop? Oh, that is tight. And really loud. Hey, Zach. How you doing, buddy? Oh. In all honesty, guys, this combine is way overkill for our operation. We farm 2,000 acres, so we could have easily got away with a class six or a class seven. But when we got looking into the used class seven market, we discovered that class eight machines were basically the same price. So we figured, why pay same money for a lesser machine? The only issue was we were having a hard time finding a class eight machine that met the criteria we were looking for. And then we got visiting with more people who had class seven machines. And they basically told us for our ground, in order to run a 12 row head, we'd probably be desiring more power. So that kind of solidified us going with at least a class eight. But then we found out the owners of readers who we know were selling their family's personal combine. So we made an offer on it. It came out to be about $20,000 more than what a class eight machine would have cost us. But now we got the big Bertha. We got the tracks. We got all the power that we need. They build these things like tanks. It's gonna last us a really long time. 
We're looking forward to running it. Now the snow just needs to disappear and then the weather needs to warm up so we can plant our corn and then our corn needs to grow. And then we need to wait a few months then we'll be able to use it. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be super exciting. The old dryer is not gonna keep up with it at all. That's probably something we're gonna need to upgrade next year. But you know what? We're gonna make do with what we got. It's gonna be fun regardless. And honestly, I wish we would have been able to do more, but there's only so much you can do for combine comparison when there's snow on the ground and the ground's frozen. But at least we were able to see an apples to apples comparison on the traction. I That was pretty cool. I was amazed at how much more the 9230 had. All right, now I'm just rambling. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to check out Cornstar Farms merch available through the link in the description. We'll see you in the next one.